hell can be many things, but here in the Britannia wasteland, after the world has ended, it became home to one of the best metal factories ever. It was difficult to get used to because of the environment, but it worked. It became a great place for trade and its vast inventory was always under attack. Loads of people wanted to be a part of it. Some just wanted to see it. Others got greedy and wanted all of it to themselves. Hell was ruled by an individual called Lucius and his wife, Victoria. Every day they are constantly bugged by their biggest enemy, the Britannia Remnants, as they demand the metalworks to be handed over to the Remnants for their own selfish gain. It was called Hell for a few reasons. Its army has an overwhelming, terrifying presence. The dark chop shop feel of the factory floor and the cruelty of its ruler. Lucius oversees everything, all the production, and the army that lives there. Whilst Lucius runs the army himself, his second in command is Mason, nicknamed Dodger. He earned that nickname by avoiding all contact with hand-to-hand -hand combat. He was a master of it. Including Lucius and Mason, there were 173 people in this demonic army. They were all trained to kill, and they were bloody good at it. Despite the fear factor that Hell has on the Britannia wasteland, trade is very good there, due to the great metal products that can be produced. Weapons, armor, power armor, railway tracks, electronic parts, wiring, lighting, so much more. They would often trade with faraway settlements, but the settlements tend to get worse off deals than they would have liked. If they denied a deal of any kind, that was their loss. But if any settlement ever tried to be smart during a trade, the demonic army would pay them a visit. A settlement would be raided, any metal would be taken and used for production. Though these scenarios were rare, Lucius was in his office looking at documents on a terminal. He saved the files and made his way to the west window of his office. The office was a floating pod on top of hundreds of stairs. This would allow him to look down on the workshop like he was viewing his empire. The window to the east of the pod oversaw the training camp for his demonic army. All of this under one roof. As he was walking over to the east window, he checked on his men and a young woman ran up the stairs with a note in her hand. As she was reaching the top, she was panting slightly. Lucius had two guards outside of his office, and one of them halted her. He put his hand out to stop the woman, and in turn noticed the note. The woman handed her the note, and was dismissed. The note was handed to Lucius, and he read it. He learned of the attack on the settlement up north, and the attack on Hub 42. But Lucius learned that they went against their orders, and this detachment charged Hub 42 by themselves. Lucius scrunched up the note and threw it to one of the windows, and raced down the stairs. He paced through the camp, every soldier standing to attention. Lucius marched into the specialist tent, and all went quiet. Seconds later, machinery hummed to life, mechanical parts moving, and the shadows of arms could be seen through the tent. Lucius had a very special suit of power armor more advanced than any other suit in the Britannia Wasteland, even more powerful than any of the Britannia Remnants possess. Lucius then stepped out of the tent. His power armour really was unique. The torso was chiselled with incredible muscle detail. The arms and legs were heavily plated, but still had muscle detail carved into the plating. The shoulder pauldrons were giant tusks, going down the back and acted as a protective cover for the fusion core. The helmet was inspired by Lovecraft, with large eye slots and tentacle looking facial hair across the cheeks, lips and chin. In case you didn't get it, this power armour was post-war. His go-to weapon was the L-99 Master Support Weapon, a bullpup weapon featuring a 50 round drum magazine.
with explosive tip 556 ammunition. Personalized, with a reflex sight stretching the entire length of the weapon itself. A foregrip. A black and grey camouflage design across the weapon. And a magnet in the stock of the weapon, so it can be magnetically attached to the power armor. Lucius called for Mason. In turn, he called for 20 men. The demonic army was ready for war.